Hey, hey, how are you? So, I'm Uncle Sniff. So, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp went down worldwide after DNS records vanished, employee badges reportedly not working. So, this happened one day after uh, a Facebook whistleblower came on 60 Minutes, which is a new show out of the U.S., talking about what Facebook is doing. Basically, Facebook is uh, apparently... uh, Their algorithms are not favorable to public discourse, shall we say. Anyhow, so definitely a hack attack. Uh, You know, come on. This is not a coincidence. It's pretty much what it is. So there you go. Anybody can go down, including these big boys. It's it's difficult because when you have a platform like Facebook that has to um, pick winners and losers... Uh, or their algorithm, and rather their algorithm is kind of designed to reinforce whatever biases you happen to have, it's uh, it's problematic, I think, because they want to engage you, right? The way they could solve the problem is, is they just, you know, perhaps had a balanced feed. You know, maybe they have a 50-50 ratio algorithm. Pretty simple stuff. You know, one right wing, one left wing, one right wing, one left wing, one right wing, one left wing. So by default, that's the behavior. So half of what you get will uh, will be against the point of view that you naturally tend towards. And the other half would be the type of news you want to see. Maybe what they could do is based on categories, they could do that. So politics, you would do that for sure. But, you know, diet, nutrition, no, you know, it's not, uh, there's no left or right there, perhaps. Although some people might argue vegetarian versus uh, keto people. I don't know. I don't know. It's a difficult situation. I think uh, profitability-wise, it it will be uh, a hit, at least initially, that they feed the audience uh, a a mix, a mix of, of content. That all being said, my major concern is that who decides, right? To have uh, arbiters, who are all biased, of course, uh, you know, it sounds like a good idea, except everybody's biased. This is the nature of humanity. It's the way our brains are made. Uh, reality is, off, is often, well, not often, is always skewed by our political and emotional dispositions. What people thought was once reality turns out to not be true, you know, at some point in time. For example, WMD, you know, I remember when that came out. Uh, I'll mention that one example. There's been many others. Oh, WMD. Uh, when uh, this was all happening, it was the worldwide consensus that WMDs were a thing and Saddam had them and so on. And if you people lost their jobs and people got attacked for being against that narrative. And, you know, years later they discovered, well, no, it was all false. So, you know... Um, we wanted to curtail BS as much as possible, but sometimes you don't know what BS is and what the truth is because uh, there's always special interest and interest out there who will create a narrative and a story and might take many years before the truth comes out. And if you have uh, a system that suppresses a counterpoint of view by default, then we got a problem. So it's not easy. It's not easy. I don't know what the solution is, but uh, it's clear to me that, uh, you know, it seems, you know, I, on a balance of probability, entrepreneurs uh, have to develop the skill. So do good developers. You have to develop the ability to look at a situation and based on experience and probabilities, uh, assess what the probable uh, thing is what, what what's the cause? Doctors do that, by the way. A friend of mine is a medical doctor, and to my amazement, he told me that that's a big part of their diagnostic method. When you first come in, and you say, "I got this pain," or "I got that pain," a lot of excuse me, a lot of core ailments can have the same symptoms uh, or very similar symptoms. So I'll give you an example for me. I was having pain in my arms, pain in my chest. Uh, uh, tightness in the chest, and some people, ooh, that could be a heart attack, right? Uh, but it could also be acid reflux and other things as well. And, of course, you know, I go on YouTube, uh, excuse me, I go on Google, and, uh, and of course, our brains, the way it's designed, our brains go, oh, my God, it's, it, you know, we figure it's the worst thing. Anyway, I go in with the assumption that I have a heart attack, 
uh, one or two nurses uh, later giving me wrong information. Anyway, it turned out it was just acid reflux. Um, and I was talking to my friend, the medical doctor, and he said, yeah, you know, he, as soon as I told him what happened to me, he said, it's not a heart attack. And I go, How, why are you so sure? He goes, well, because you're your age, you don't smoke, you're not overweight, uh, you exercise, the chance of you having a heart attack are like practically zero. You know, so again, probability assessment. That's where I had a conversation with him, and I found that the probability was uh, probability assessment was a big part of the diagnostic method in, in uh, medicine, which is interesting because in business that's what you're always doing when you're looking at b- potential business opportunities. You're always doing probability assessments when you're when you're weighing whether or not you want to deal with a particular partner. Uh, as a, you're judging their character, uh, it's probability assessment. When you're looking at software and you run across bugs, uh, often enough you can find bugs that could be m- multiple things that could be happening that could cause the bug. It could be, let's say you have a database connection error. It could be that there's a, a password issue. It could be a network issue. It could just be bad code. It could be uh, some sort of dependency that you're not... Uh, uh, that is not uh, that's been updated. Ask the uh, Node people about that. They're all aware, aware of that situation. So yeah, probability assessment is also um, uh, is also a skill of developer. So with regards to Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, I don't know for sure. But probability wise, they're all going down. DNS is erased. All this kind of stuff. The day after this big report, uh, yeah, you know, showing that uh, well at least positioning Facebook, uh, framing Facebook in a villainous uh, position. Um, I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying it's being framed that way. We'll see what happens. But what's really interesting to me, is this is kind of all news. Like Facebook is presenting data based on people's, uh, what they're clicking on. So people get further uh, down rabbit holes because they're being exposed only to one narrative, one point of view. And if you bring up another point of view, you get attacked, right? Uh, this is nothing new, but stare, but social media apps like Facebook will will you know, put, put that on steroids. Anywho, that's the story. I hope you found this informative. I hope you learned something.